Hello, my fellow odd ones. <laughs> okay, today's gonna be a little different. I mean, it's baking and BS, but I don't really have weird news or conspiracy theories. What I do have is one of my favorite Christmas cookie recipes. So I'm gonna be making that. They are traditional Dutch cookies that are served around the Santa Claus celebration. And if you would like to make them along with me, you will need 150 grams of unsalted butter, 135 grams of brown sugar, 10 grams of speculous spices, I'll get into that, 250 grams of self-rising flour, a pinch of salt, and four tablespoons of milk. What are speculous spices? That's a good question. <laughs> that is one half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, another half teaspoon of ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger, followed by one eighth teaspoon of aniseed. Yes, you need this. And up until I got new measuring spoons, I had to do a half a, I had to kind of figure out the whole eighth of a teaspoon, but now I have one. We're so excited. So, these cookies, like I said, they're served typically during the Sinterklaas celebration in Holland, which has already happened. Um, Sinterklaas there, though, he lives um, in Spain and live in the North Pole. I don't even think that there's a Mrs. Claus, like, at all. He lives in... Hey, he's got his, he's got beaten. Um, so <laughs> yeah, he lives in Spain. He takes a steamboat from Spain to Holland around mid-November. Which, you know, I, I, I forget that sometimes Thanksgiving is a very American holiday. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he, he travels, like I said, from Spain to Holland on a steamboat. They have a big old festival for him, although I think in the year of 2020, 2021, they were just televising his arrival and asking people not to be there for reasons. So that's what they've done. And the way that I understood everything is Peyton are actually, at one time they were the bad kids. So, you know, you have naughty and nice, like with Santa Claus. But if you were naughty in Holland, they took you away and you went to Spain and you became one of the Peyton for Santa Claus. Santa Claus also not roly-poly, fat and jolly, like the American Santa Claus. He's actually trim and very noble looking. He rides a white horse from rooftop to rooftop. They do celebrate, probably because of some Westerners, um, regular traditional Christmas, like we would celebrate in America or even other places around the globe. But really, it's more Santa Claus. So you're just gonna mix everything together right away and kind of cream it together, the butter, the milk, the, the sugar, the spices. Well, not the milk, not yet. I gotta put all the rest of this stuff in there first. So. Now that I have kneaded all of that stuff together, you add in the milk, little by little. I'm just gonna do it, I guess, one tablespoon at a time. We'll see how it goes. some of your favorite holiday Christmas treat 
things. This is this is one of mine, and it's actually a pretty popular one since the first time I made it. Um, I like to share it. I like to eat it. I prefer to share it because otherwise I'll eat it. I'll eat all of it. This one, um, my cranberry orange bread is another one that I really really like. It's speculos, which similar ingredients to the paper noten but they involve a wooden cookie mold and they take about two days to make. <laughs> They're a little different. All right. So we get this all nice and mixed up together. It forms a nice little dough. And now I have to refrigerate it for the next half an hour in order to do the rest of what I need to do with it. So I will see you in about 30 minutes. And here we are. It wasn't really a half hour for you, but it was a little over a half hour for me because there was a delivery that was coming and we didn't want the bell. <laughs> so the dough has now been nice and refrigerated, makes it a little easier to work with. Oh, that's what I need. I need plate and scale so that they're all just little uniform size. I like to do that. You can do this, you don't have to do this. I prefer to do this so that, you know, they're all, like I said, uniform. Right around 20 grams. So, talking about Christmas traditions like, you know, Santa Claus in Holland and Santa Claus and almost everywhere else. What's the Christmas tradition that you do? Um, maybe a treat that you make or some sort of gathering that you do. I know for us, it's been Christmas Eve for, oh my gosh, ever. Um, I think since my brother and I were old enough to realize Santa. I don't want to say too much in case children are watching. But we get together on Christmas Eve, my brother and sister-in-law, my husband and my son and I, and we all go to my mother's house on Christmas Eve and we share a meal and then we share the Christmas story because for us Christmas is less about the gifts under the tree and more about the birth of Christ which is why we celebrate. I know it's not why everybody does but that's why we do. Um, we do wait until Christmas Day at my house to open up gifts that you know we purchased for each other rather than lugging all of the gifts over to my mom's house and all of the gifts back here. And we did do that for a little while, brought everything, opened it all at my mom's house. And then we were lugging all these Christmas presents all over the place, everything that we got for each other, and then everything that we got from my loved ones <laughs> like you know what let's not do that anymore my mom will sometimes come over here we will have a nice little bit of a celebration here we'll open up gifts and stockings and whatever and then we have our Christmas meal my husband usually will prepare like a roast a beef roast of some kind what do you plan on this year He likes to cook. He really likes to cook. And that makes me happy because I don't like to cook. Baking. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> and I'm not going to eat these necessarily. No, they're just, I don't eat sweets a lot. 
You know that. Okay. I was confused. I was so confused. Twenty. I said that earlier. Sorry, I was taking a picture and posting it on my Facebook. <laughs> just nice little cookies. You press them down just a little bit with your finger, just to kind of get them started. But really, they're supposed to come out and look like nuts. Paper noten is how you say it in, in Dutch. Um, roughly translated, pepper cookie. <laughs> but you don't use pepper. have your Christmas trees up got everything decorated we usually do it the weekend after Thanksgiving um, this year we didn't we did get the outside lights up yesterday well by the time this goes up it'll have been a little bit and we'll probably have the tree up by the time the video goes up <laughs> maybe <laughs> But we have, we have some stuff decorated inside. We, we've got some lights up. We've got our wreath up outside. We've got another wreath that hangs on the one of the interior doors. My big stocking that my grandmother made me. Just little stuff. I don't know, do you have it to where they can see the lights that are hanging up? No? No. no. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven. And I will see you in a little bit. Plate full of cookies. Cookies. And my plate is falling apart. Look at this. I thought it was such a cool plate. It's a sticker. It's a sticker on a plate. My presentation plate is falling apart. We'll be taking donations to get a new presentation plate. I'm kidding. <laughs> I will leave the recipe for these in the description box below. Um, go ahead, make them. Let me know how they turned out. I, I, I like them. I think it's an acquired taste because I remember the first time that we made them, um, not a lot of people really liked them. But since I've made them since, other people have really enjoyed them. Like, before the world stopped turning, <laughs> I brought them to a place that we go on Tuesday nights in order to, we listen to live music, it's a band jam, and we had a group of friends, and the one he, he'd eaten one of the cookies. And he ate another one. And then I watched him get over there, and he looked really sheepish as he's grabbing yet another cookie. I don't know. I guess it's an acquired taste. Might be the Annecy. Anyway, let me know what your favorite thing is to make for Christmas or some tradition that you might have each Christmas that you do. Or maybe you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Let me know down in the description box. I will see you in the next video. You take care of you. Bye.